All right, guys, I want to let you take a look at a little modification I made to this Argon tarp of mine. Uh, I shot a video last week, I think, of a little rain shower with this tarp. And although it did pretty good, I felt like that the sides kind of pushed in a little bit more than what I uh, was comfortable with. So I decided to do some pullouts, some side pullouts, uh, and see if that would help keep the sides a little bit better during wind and rain. Uh, so this was my first go at some side pullouts, and uh, although I'm fairly comfortable so, and I made this tarp, and I've made actually a couple of tarps, I was a little bit leery on the pullouts, getting them even and spaced right and, and smooth, and so I was looking for another alternative, and I found uh, a video by Colorado Camper on YouTube where he bonded the um, pullouts to the side of the tarp, um, using Silnet, I use the flowable windshield uh, sealer you can get at uh, auto parts stores. It's pretty much the same thing as Silnet. Uh, but uh, I'll link to his video to show you can see exactly how he did it. But basically it's a, a circle of the material I use the Argon. His is uh, Silnet, and, or Sil Nylon. And, uh, Use that in a, a loop of gross gain that you kind of bond together and then uh, let it cure and then bond that to the side of the tarp as a pullout. So that's what I did and it turned out pretty good, I think. I mean, it's not the most attractive finished product, I guess you could say. I mean, you can tell it's, uh, you know, it's glued on there, so to speak. But it, it's smooth. Uh, you know, it's not it's not all wrinkled up it's nice and even uh, he posted a comment on his video after a year said they were still holding fine uh, also uh, squid billy here on the hammock forum uh, if you're on hammockforums.net look up squid billy uh, he he said he actually did this to a tarp uh, that he as far as he knew it was still holding up fine uh, he actually sold the tarp so uh, doesn't have it anymore but as far as he knew it was holding fine uh, but they look pretty secure. I mean, it's pretty solid. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a problem. They, they seem pretty, pretty good, I think. So, uh, I can't say that it would have looked any nicer if I'd have sewed it and then, uh, seam sealed the, the stitching anyway. So, you know, as far as I can tell, I think it's going to be fine. So we're going to give it a shot and, uh, see how it does. So that's one thing. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you was uh, my attempt at a pole mod set up here. Uh, I had a couple of, uh, well, I actually have several uh, carbon, old carbon arrows that I don't use anymore. Uh, these are some of the really small diameter uh, carbon arrows that, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, these are really small diameter carbon arrows that, there you go that have the uh, external knocks and the uh, external point adapters, broad head adapters. So what I did is I took um, two, uh, two of those arrows and I actually had to re-thread a broad head adapter so that it was the same thread on both sides. Uh, in, in actuality the one the part that screwed into the broadhead was one thread and the part that screwed into the uh, knock on the or the adapter on the arrow was a different thread so I had to re-thread one side but that wasn't a big deal I had a tap and die set and uh, the aluminum on that broadhead uh, adapter was pretty soft so it was easy to re-thread but essentially I re-threaded so I could screw two arrows together and make one long pole it's about 58 inches 57 ish 58 ish inches long and uh, together the set, all four arrows, all four arrows together, that which makes two poles, is about two and a half ounces, so pretty light. And all I did was I left the uh, knock on the end here, and then just did a little loop uh, off of this is actually Mason's line. Did a little loop and hooked it in the knock, and it holds pretty good, I think. So. We're going to give this a shot, see how it does. 
but uh, I think for a first stab at it, that turned out pretty good. So, just wanted to let you take a look, see what you think. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Hopefully somebody finds this uh, helpful. And uh, I was hoping for a little rain shower this afternoon, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So I could get a test on this, but as soon as I get a test, I'll try to shoot a video of that and let you guys see what it looks like. So, just wanted to share. And appreciate you watching. Talk to you later.